yes, hello, I'm Dan Morrow, owner of the Gallery at Ten Oaks, coming to you with another installment of Life at the Gallery at Ten Oaks. And guess what? We've already arrived at the very final weekend for the featured artist shows for Paul Griffiths, producing this amazing 3D fractal art, and Richard T. Sean Shea, producing his amazing oil and watercolor art. You only have through Sunday, June 30th, to come in and see all these pieces in one place. Or go to tenoxgallery.com and order your favorite piece right now. What else do we have going on? Well, tomorrow at Bjornsson Vineyard in the Eola Amity Hills, our artist Linda Jerome is going to be doing a painting demonstration of her amazing still life oil-based work. That's going to be going on from 1 to 4 out at the Bjornsson Tasting Room. Come out, enjoy some lovely wine meet this lovely artist and have a lovely afternoon on what should be a lovely weekend. That will be fantastic. We hope to see all of you there. Okay, what else is going on? Well, if you've been following these videos for very long, you know that I really enjoy um, trying to produce some of my own art and you've seen some of the beautiful creations that I've been making. And when it comes to photography, uh, that's a, another beautiful art form that I've been involved in. I feel like I've been doing a pretty great job, but um, some people have been telling me that maybe I should be taking some lessons, but uh, I'd like you to meet somebody here. Come, come right over this way, if you would. This is our photographer, Lauren Nelson. Good morning, Lauren. He's going to confirm that I am already doing everything right. Lauren, Hi. good morning. It's Hi, so nice man. to see you. Yes, see you. Uh, what a pleasure to see you. So Lauren, this morning, has brought us a whole batch of new art. This is exciting. Um, let's take a look over here. For example, um, now, when I see a piece like this, Lauren, I'm assuming that uh, with photography, uh, it's, since we all have phones now, you just take out your phone and you do a quick selfie. There we are. Great. It's as simple as that. Go to the cloud server, oh, hit oh, print, not, and, not exactly, and it comes yeah. out on your HP not uh, exactly, jet printer. Not it's exactly. Like 10 minutes start to finish, I would think, to get something like this. Is that uh, accurate? Uh, to get the camera set up, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. To get it framed and focused, maybe another half an hour. Focus now. Okay, yeah, interesting. I'm using a bellows and um, and a view camera. It takes a long time to manipulate to set it up to frame it. When you set the view camera up, it doesn't ever ever look like you think it should look when you just look at the subject. It's going to frame just like that. It doesn't. You put try to find the right lens, but you usually wrong the first time through. So it takes a long time to set the camera up, to get it focused, and then as soon as I pull the dark slide out and I'm making the exposure, the wind will usually come up or it'll start to rain. I can control the weather with simply pulling the dark slide out of the, out of the uh, camera. Sometimes I get to printing right away. Sometimes I let them ferment for a couple of months. They sometimes turn out better that way. Um, and then. This is complicated. It, it is. So you're not shooting these with your phone. This no. is with a camera um, and you go into a dark room. Yes. Well, you've lost me there, certainly. Um, and so, now why did you choose this color palette? All I can see in this is sort of some blacks and some whites and... Well, I think... Why those two colors? Yeah, I think that uh, sucking the color out of an image reduces it to form and texture and shadow and light that is somehow resonates with my sensibilities. I like the fact that I can communicate certain feelings about a subject with just tones of black and white. Um, it certainly takes a lot of the confusion out of, uh, out of photography when you're just dealing with grays and black and white. Um, I've heard that Ansel Adams once said, um, people say that if you have a good black and a good white in the print, then you've made the print. And Ansel said, if you have a good black and a good white in your print, then you can begin to print, make the print. So it's a lot of nuances in those gray areas. So I, um, but I, it is my favorite color, black and white. Wow, well, Lauren, there certainly is a lot of Gray area, that's for sure. Okay, so now I'm not trying to phrase. I don't really know what you mean, but uh, so now this one here, you then have spent a bunch of time in your dark room 
putting this no, together on no, photo no, no, papers no, 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 no. is no, what you're telling me. No, this was actually, this one was born as a digital file in my 35 millimeter camera. Uh, I was working um, in areas where I needed to respond to my environment like right away. I didn't have time for the V camera. So I set up my 35 millimeter camera while the fog was still in the valleys and made some images. Uh, so this started out as a digital file and not a negative at all. Um, and was printed in the light. Go figure. Unfortunately, none of this is sticking with me and it's going over my head. So this is a digital image here? It's this is digital photography? Digital. Yep. But you just said you do all this in the dark room. Yeah, and yeah. I, I'm actually starting to experiment with different um, ways to use the black and white that I love. And um, actually, I can show you my, my view camera setup. Oh, sure. If you might sure. Sure. I think yeah. that would be. Um, I, it might help. Now, you can, you can use your phone, and still you suggest using a tripod, but actually, if you have, I always use a tripod, but you can set your, your, um, your camera, you know, just there you go. And all you need is a dark cloth. Now you have a full, you have a full view camera setup. You don't have any swings and tilts to mess with. You just, it's, it's very pure and basic. It works. Taking lessons is hard. Wow, that's um, so. This is the way that everyone should shoot with their iPhone or Android compatible phone now. Absolutely. Well, Lauren, thank you so much for that because now I'm just more confused than I've ever been, if that's even possible. So, photography involves something to do with going into a dark room, shooting all your colors in black and white, or getting under this clock with your iPhone and Printing it is in, in wishing you had your view camera with you. Yes. I okay. just don't so cool. know what we're talking about. Okay. However, you know what I do I'm know is that yeah. if you come down to the gallery now and buy some beautiful Warren Nelson black and white photography, whether it be traditional or digital, I know that you will feel better and I will certainly be less confused once that happens. Thank you, Lauren, for being here today. Oh, oh yes, yes, hello! Oh, here we go. Let's do that again, Lauren. we got to get the perfect maneuver. Oh, oh yes, yes, hello! Oh, that's good coffee. It's very good.